let me tell you something. This is Goof Troop, and it's not working. This is open card surgery. <laughs> Pay no mind about anything you might know about this game if you've never played it. This is one of my absolute favorite action puzzle games for any system, especially for the Super Nintendo. If you've never played Goof Troop, I'd say check it out. Unfortunately, we can't check this out because it doesn't work. This was donated to my good friend Eric Noble. Now, I've known Eric. Uh, we used to work together. We were both on the radio together when we lived in Tri-Cities, Washington. Um, he now uh, lives in Seattle working for Amazon. Um, we hooked up, uh, no, it was a little bit ago, not too long ago. Um, worked out a trade, got him some of my retro stuff. Um, he hooked me up with uh, something from him. And um, he also hooked me up with a few games that didn't work anymore. And this is one of them, it's Goof Troop. But he mostly does Twitch. So uh, definitely follow him on Twitch. There's a link in the description below, all right? Let's see what it looks like when we pop it in. I'm using an RF standard. Nothing, wow not even a black screen. Usually there's like a black screen or something. This is nothing. This is not looking good. We'll open it up anyway though. Why yes, it is a gaming historian t-shirt I'm wearing. Of course it is. I'm hoping in wearing this shirt, I'll have hair like him and has, it hasn't happened yet. So <laughs> I think I have to wear it a few times first. I don't know, we'll see. No, I picked up this shirt at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. He was, he was selling them 15 bucks. Great shirt, great cause. One of my favorite YouTube channels. Well, here you go. That's all it is. A little something like that. There it be. Nothing much to it. Well, it doesn't look, doesn't look bad. I don't see any broken things. Don't see any blown capacitors. Everything on the back looks fine. Clean it up, maybe? I know, it's my favorite one-up card. Just about out of uh, rubbing alcohol, though. There's a fluid side, a dry side. Fluid side, fluid eights. The pins, the dry side buffs them out, and it's thin enough that you can fit it inside so you don't have to open up the thing, but I wanted to I wanted to open it up anyway. Seriously? You know, we had no power last time, so I'm guessing this isn't gonna do a whole lot either, but we'll see. Now, when I did that, I felt some kind of crack. Oh, hello. No amount of one-up card's gonna fix that problem. Ooh, yikes. But I bet we could swap this to a suitable board. It's just a, uh, it's just a 1A, Looks like a standard issue, like a like a one meg ROM board, and I'm, I'm sure I got a one laying around here. Let's do the old board swapperoo and see what happens. So goof troop here, it's kind of broken off by the pin. So I need a suitable donor. This actually might be overkill, but I bet it'll still work. I'm pretty sure it'll still work. I'm looking up in the corner where it has like the uh, little code up there. See that A? Now if uh, I forgot which side it is, it's like if it's A, it's low ROM. If it's J, it's high ROM. And since these are both A's. I'm just gonna try popping this one into this one. And I bet it'll work. At least I hope it'll work, we'll see. Just gotta remove this gun. You can just use any desoldering gun. I have one of these. But whatever, just gets it undersoldered so you can remove the pin, that's all you need. As always, crazy eyes helps. And since I wanna keep this game perfect, I can't just be whipping it out all willy-nilly. I have an EEPROM remover here, ever so gently. So don't break the pins. I don't even want to bend the pins if I don't have to. This is gonna come out brilliantly. Perfect. Put that right back into here. Wait. Make it face the right direction. Alright, gonna solder this in place. We'll hope for the best. Alright, wish me luck. Now here's this. We'll put it backwards goes in right about there. Cross my fingers and look at that. Familiar tune right there. Oh, hold on now. Let me get a little bit more center. Seriously, one of my favorite action puzzle games. No, 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 no. Nobody tell Capcom. I don't want a copyright strike. One or two player plays Goofy here. Awesome, awesome. Yep, I'll call it a success. So, there you have it. And it was all thanks to my gaming historian t-shirt. No, uh, <laughs> 
it was all thanks to uh, you know thanks to my patreons for helping out they actually uh, funded that extra board that I needed um, I picked up a few extra uh, donor cards to use I'm not gonna say what game I used but I will say that unfortunately I did sacrifice a game to make goof troop but I won't say what it is I will say it's a game that no one ever talks about and I promise you it's no one's favorite game of all time goof troop however is one of my favorite games of all time so I got it working super happy and if you want yours if I get them working I give them away um, I'm going to save this for the next gaming convention I attend Portland Retro Gaming Expo just happened recently so the next one might be either the PRGE swap meet it might be the Seattle Retro Gaming Expo it might even be the Missouri Game Con um, but at a next retro game convention I attend I'm gonna have a little sack full of goodies a little sack full of free games that I fixed and uh, thanks to Eric Noble don't thank me I'm just making it work don't thank me you think Eric Noble when you pick up your free copy of Goof Troop where you happen to see me next so as always if you have any games you want to donate for the channel uh, check out a link in the description below um, you get a shout out and if I get it working then you can pass it off on to someone else uh, in your thanks and in your honor so appreciate you watching thanks and take care I'm actually gonna play Goof Troop for a little bit here